Brap, brap, brap. All right, let's give this a guy. Good and all, I guess. I wouldn't let me pick Nightmare. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Suddenly, his body was gone. Mm -hmm. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Well, that's an absurd. Oh, reverse my controls? No. Yikes. I should probably turn that down. Jesus Christ. What's with that sensitivity? Let me just turn that down to not on. Take that down a bit, we don't need it since I didn't realize it was third person. Alright. Okay. something important waiting for me there. Is that so? Is there something important waiting for us there? That bridge is out anyway. That guy's kind of creepy. Go, go, go. You missed your deadline. Damn. You can't stop me. Woohoo! I 
I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I'd been working on. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Oh, let's get the fuck away from him. Puffed out. This way, this way. I'm coming, whoever you are. I hope you have a gun to shoot him with. Hey, he's got a gun. I want a gun. Nearly dead. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Oh, I see. All right, light's the way to heal in this game. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this: for he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green. Where waves are both wilder and more serene. To oh, its my ports eyes. I've been. Let's just not look to at that. Ports I've been. Do you understand? No. So, follow my light. Okay, now light is new best friend. Ever. I entered your dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. Ow! The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Awesome. Sure, give me back my dream. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Woohoo! 
You can't stop my jukes! Hey look, a thingy. Okay, so a flare gun obviously destroys fucking everything. I can keep this up. No, you can't. I have batteries. But let's run. Oh, shit. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, boop, flare gun. Woohoo! Eat shit! Man, that's fun. <laughs> I like the dodges. Let's not use up all my sprint. So I'm lumbering, I might not be able to dodge. Ooh, thingies. Is that a flask full of delicious? Coffee! Aw, oh, collectible thermos. Alright, I can hear that shadowy stuff in your opening. Let's get inside here. Hmm. Mm, the lighthouse went out. That's bad news. He's here. Who's here? Alan, wake up. <gasps> Shh, baby. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Man, her face is scary. Bright fools, you say? Also, what's the stream's FPS like? Because I can't tell from here. Yeah. Alright, let's quickly mess with some settings.
Okay, that's a bit smoother now. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying I'm Pat Maine, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this week. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you do have a lovely holiday. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Barry. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. <laughs> you know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you, too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. I can see the car. It's right here. It's fine. I want. Before we do that, though, I want to look around at the other stuff. Jack. Come on, Slowpoke. You get the full service here. I've made all the arrangements. I drive the car. I'll even carry the bags. All you have to do is drag your cute butt into the car and enjoy the ride. Yes. Sure, whatever. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. Carl Stuckey. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. That's right. I'll behave. Let's find a gun and start shooting some bitches. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Odier Diner. Hi. I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose. I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all your books. Great. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. And you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Try the coffee. Do me Just a favor, break. Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah! Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah, you need to give it a good solid whack. Now 
that's what I'm talking about, yes! This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find you stuff want to, die, to get the key and get out as soon worse. as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. He Uber and fans listen. always did. Hello? Mr. Stuckey? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Creepy bitch. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Great. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. God, I wish I had a lantern like that. It looks pimp. Even that sounds better than you singing. Are you all right? <coughs> splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn hernia! It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah, splendid, splendid. It's been a long time gone. Good to see you. Hey, the Andersons. They're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Okay. Don't remember mentioning that I give a fuck, but you know, that's fine. Whatever. Peace, bitch. Bye, Mr. Wake. Ugh. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. <laughs> hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Hmm. That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Padman here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. And now the weather. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It's pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. Hmm. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound, but before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Hmm, creepy well, huh? Alright, Are you let's sure you read the directions right? 
It's nothing like in the brochure. It said near the lake, not on it. Don't get me wrong. This is so much better. It's wonderful. Our own private island. Yeah. I don't think I mentioned the creepy bitch who uh, gave me the keys and the directions, but you know, I probably should have mentioned that because she's a creepy bitch. Bye, crows. Crow! Bird leg cabin, huh? Hmm. I'm gonna hang around here just in case she has a different. She's like surprised at the name of the cabin or something. It's like you complete the game. You realize this was the wrong cabin and promptly left. No. No. Okay. Let's check along here. Hey, look, an axe. I would love an axe. Let's grab it. No? I bet that axe is going to play, come into play at some point. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Let there be light! I completed something before I even got to it. No also, I. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay! I'll look around a bit. Sure thing! Have fun! Hmm. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here sleep here and forget about my work I thought we could be happy here hmm the motion blur is kind of a pain It does make give it a sort of that like dreamy look, which isn't too bad at all. Man, I open doors with like impunity with my face. That's creepy. Alice? Honey? A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. door had played a trick on me. Alice wouldn't have come out in the dark. The Deerfest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist, no less. We'll see if we can rope him into an interview later on. Now, let's uh, go to the phones, call her, and you're on KBFFM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh... He's my favorite writer. Well, Rose, I... I just saw him at the diner. Oh, I am so excited he's here. I'm sure he's glad to be here, too. Well, folks, I guess the secret's out. This is Pat Main on KBFFM. And now, it's the music. Great. So much for keeping a low profile. Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. A surprise? Is it sexy lingerie? going to fuck well hello there I'm not the surprise it's in the study Aww. Take a look. <laughs> okay surprise Alice what is this I guess I have a small confession to make I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past Damn, Alice you everyone hey keeps... hey hey just hear me out there's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I 
don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. had gone dark. All the lights were out. No! Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. go that way let's have a look anything across here no no it's just a dead end all right let's roll damn well fuck that's a right off I'm kind of amazed that he still has fans after, you know, two years that keep his fucking cardboard cutouts and such out. Crazy people. Hello? Oh, bright. Hello? Someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Hmm. Hmm. Departure by Alan Wake. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. Well, luckily Anna had a duke. Bring it the fuck on, axe murderer, man. Anybody there? Please! I've been in an accident! Bring it on. I got mad fucking jukes. The lights up ahead were a good sign. 
Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Yeah, repeat yourself, that's fine. Hey! Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident. I need help. Deposit. Listen, I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Nightfall! Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Please. To beat you. non representing Reservation. Deposit required. Fair and square. Oh, fuck. Ow, my head. Jerk. Get inside, get inside, get inside. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Batteries and a gun! Energizer! Fuck everything! Let's get those batteries, man. Trying. It's the latest thing. In. Con yes. Tester Blade. Hello? Hello? One stone. You can see the sights and keep the list of. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Out the door. Ow. Electricity. <laughs> ah, damn it. I didn't juke. Didn't juke in time. There were more of them. a shooting range and now I just killed someone or something there were no bodies they just disappeared if I was dreaming it felt real enough to make me sick hmm fucking chainsaw I want to dismantle that thing before I continue on because let's face it that chainsaw is gonna mess me up is there any other loot hey look little yellow arrows Hmm, I see. When I hover over it, the arrows give me something. They leave me to loot! Ah, yes, the flare gun! Man, the flare gun is so strong! Let's not use up all my sprint. 
The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. It's rabbit season. I like the tapping will reload faster. Ah, my knees. Ah, that bitch. Oh, kill her with a gun. What the hell was that? When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Hmm. Hey, look at Themis. Everyone fucking loves coffee. I like that coffee is a collectible in this game. Hmm. All right, let's just cross these logs. Let's read some more pages. Wait, the man attack. turned to face me. Oh, I read that one. The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming. Yep. Interesting, interesting. All right, let's continue on. Stucky was still out there in the dark, stalking. Damn it, Stucky, you jerk. Loot. Batteries! Batteries and gun ammo just sitting in the forest. Don't even give a fuck. Shit, didn't mean to waste that bullet. That got a little bit intense, didn't it? Climb, damn it. Climb. Proceed at my own risk, eh? Actually, before we go down that way, let's look for loot. I fucking love loot. Shack up there. I like this. I get to explore. I mean, this game is just unbelievably creepy. The painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it.
More batteries. Come on, more guns. Nope, no more gun bullets. That was nice of them. Let's hop down there carefully. Ow, my knees. Ow, my knees. No way through there. Alright, let's continue on. Yeah, already. Hmm. This perspective is kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Hmm. That's the best emergency box ever. Guns and batteries! There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Hmm. Well, it's right over there, but let's look up here first. Those can canisters will explode if I shoot at them. They look like they could. All right, let's hop down. Oof, my knees. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Magics. Ow! Go away! Damn it all, I'm trying to dodge you! Die! Jesus Christ! That was close. Alright, and then we activate that thing, and we're fine. Let's check in here first. Probably loot. Find like another loot. Oh, I missed a page already. Before I saw them. Swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came, I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared. All right, that works. Shotgun. Stick with pistol for now. I don't have many shotgun rounds. Ah, here we go. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. Got it. 
There I was wondering what this was for, and it's for something useful, like getting across to the next zone. Ah, my knees. Damn it! My knees twice. I need to do that one at a sprint next time, I think. I am still really, really annoyed with this perspective. Especially when I'm trying to run across something thin. It always feels like my character's trying to just veer off to the goddamn side. Alright. Let's wait on this end a bit more. We'll wait for the logs to tilt the other way. Hey, what the... It... That's... Let's just try moving up a little bit more instead. That's kind of obnoxious. Up we go. Alright, there we have it. Lights. Nice, safe, incredibly fucking blinding lights. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Huh. Listeners, no, I'm, I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walkie. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? The reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? <laughs> Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but when we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks. Shit. Have a good night now. I'm gonna have to fight monster dogs. I don't want to do that. Hmm. Another flare gun? Can't say no to that. Hmm. Ah, another manuscript page. Let's have a looky loo. At first, I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly. With it I could save myself. With it I could save Alice. Oh, I see a thermos up there, which is nice. The gas station was closer now, its light welcoming in the darkness.
That was fucking quick. I whiffed that last pull on the thing. My item limit for batteries has been reached? I'll be damned. Who makes the best dogs, hey? I'm still expecting to get attacked by Toby, the shadow dog or something. Ow! Dick! Damn it, did I just use my last fucking flare up? I was trying to swap weapon. Ah! No, I did! Son of a bitch. into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone... Alright. Let's continue up. I'm at maximum for ammo for batteries even still. Hmm. Arrows, tell me where to go. This way. Awesome. Come on, more flares. Thank you. I cannot believe I wasted that last one. I'm so annoyed. This game is fucking creepy. Ah, shit. Fucking gun. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. For such a legacy Ow. is steep indeed. What the fuck? Springs. To note, a quantum suicide. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference. Dr. Yeah, let's just continue on. on Cauldron Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten it. Hmm. Oh, there's no way this is going to be good news. Man, that is so much revolver ammo. Holy shit. Who just fills a box so <laughs> fucking great with revolver ammo? Alright, Stucky. It's fucking party time. 
Oh no, you brought more of your friends too. Come on, you son of a bitch. Bring it. God damn it all. Come on, you bastard. Quite the epic piece of work. Fucking ghost Stucky, what a jerk. I wonder if there's any more hidden loot around here. Quick, check all the walls. Nope. Nope. Alright, let's continue on. recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. It looks old and damaged now. Wait, 68. I don't remember looking at the number. That's annoying. Maybe like some really incredible period of time has passed and now I've just missed it. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. It's fine, I'll keep the unarmed flare gun out just in case I start to look like a crazy person. Stucky, Stucky taken. out on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling, caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment. Mm. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Uh oh. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right. I'll keep 
keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her, I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Interesting, interesting. Apparently we sell propane. Ah, oh, there's a phone right there. Good. Great ball sheriff station. Thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me, and then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Just a sprinkle stardust and a whisper Go to sleep Everything is all Very right. interesting so far I Unnecessarily my creepy then I drift away. Right, time to move on Otherwise Leon Allen it's no good to me I came to Bright Falls with my wife Alice Thank you for coming here with me I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Coffee's on. Fucking love coffee. Great. Thanks. I'll need it if I'm going to finish this by tomorrow. Oh, hey. I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seem to think so last night. hey -o!
Wait, what's that next to it, damn it? An award for shooting? Hmm. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow on the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. The group... Interesting. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay, hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, Ryder. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Aw, oh, isn't it sweet? Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Nothing in here? Well, I'm used to loot. I'm used to loot. Alright, as much as I would like to continue, I have some shit to do and other games that I want to also get on with playing. And I need to make sure that this is actually, you know, streamed okay and will be in good enough quality to go onto YouTube. So with that, I have been some kind of wizard and you have been my lovely.